it's Friday morning and Joe, Louie and I are on our way to Camp Quaking. Well, we're not actually going straight to Camp Quaking, we've arranged to meet the gadgets in a pub. Sorry, not a pub, a planning room. We'll do a little bit of planning before we get there. I don't know if you can tell by the sound, but uh, it's raining. We're in the car park of the pub, waiting for it to open in the rain. I hope that thatch is waterproof. Julie's having a dance. She must have a bit of a bad hip, she's only dancing one way. Are you ready for the pub? Yep. What have you been doing? <laughs> are you ready for the pub, Lou? Yeah. Shall we see what the chips are like? Can't even open the door properly. <laughs> hey, up! Alright. It's easier when you're stuck even getting in the pub, isn't it? Where's Mevy? Oh, oh. Didn't make it. Oh dear. Oh, no. You just sacrificed him on the roadside. We, um, we waited and waited and waited and after an hour of waiting he rang up and just said listen I feel bad you're waiting just Aww. scoot. Viking burial. Well I can see him, I can oh, see him coming on the back of a truck. Oh, 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 oh dear. Sorry if I've just changed you. Oh yeah. They'll be right. Yeah. 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 Isn't it God? I chose it as well. I know. I know. I know. No, I have no input. So I went for pizza. Joe went for pizza. Mandy went for what's that? It's black black pudding and poached egg stack and posh chips. <laughs> John went for not mm. gammon. Not gammon, no burger. It's gone for burger with bacon and cheese. And the burger score? Oh, eight and a half. Nine. It's really good. What's the chips like, Mand? Um, I'm not trying. Oh. One. One. <laughs> no pressure. Mm. Oh my goodness. Mm. Mm. Truffle oil. Yeah, there's truffle mm. oil. Mm. Mm. They're good. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Very with good. The, the hot. The truffle oil. Yeah, they are quite hot. Mm. But yeah. Mm. That's good. They're not too hot. They're an eight. Mm. Yeah, they are. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Lovely and fluffy. No. Dead yeah. crisp. Mm. They're an eight. Oh, I'd go for eight and a half. Eight and a half? Eight and a half, yeah. Mm. Mm. What do you reckon, Louis? The truffle oil makes them. Yeah. But when I saw that, they are my favourite parmesan and truffle oh, oil. Oh my gosh, that, that's, that makes them taste amazing. It's nice to have your back tested, Lou. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, Louis okay. likes them. They'll be checking everybody's tickets and they'll be making sure there are no dogs without tickets in the back of the van. That's Joe doing that silly voice if anybody's interested. They've been running for a minute then, I'm like, oh my god, yeah, we've got tickets. <laughs> I'm with my granddad. <laughs> <laughs> There's Bevy. You made it. Just about. What broke was the problem? Cooling. I broke down three times on the way here. Um, you can smell it. It's the uh, I'm losing coolant. Uh, the smell of coolant's coming out of the vent. And every, three times on the way here, the coolant is displaced by the air that's in the coolant system. Uh, and so the temperature gauge just does this. You haven't Man. had a steam, steam engine fitted, have you? I think maybe I have. <laughs> <laughs> at least, at least you made it on your own wheels. <laughs> that says it all. That'll do. That'll do. That's a right there. And after probably two hours of sun, yeah. summer's over. Now Louis' fame has reached this level. He's been the Invisible Man. And he's now teamed up with Greg look, and Lou. Look, we could do a, Hello. We, we could do a, uh, a collaboration video. <laughs> <laughs> See you then, Lou. <laughs>
Yeah, so this is what you need to do, guys. What is that? Anything you want out of my band, yeah. I've done your little shopping list. No way, that's brilliant! So if you want anything that's in my van, all you've got to do is click on Gadget the Gadget John gets a lesson. Oh, wow. Yeah, I can't see your mum on there. We all want your mum. Yeah. <laughs> Gadget Greg Gadget meets Gadget Greg, yeah. John. Oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> Oh, so, any more childhood stories about Greg? <laughs> <laughs> the new job. He's going to do them for copyright. Are you going to do them for copyright? <laughs> you little horny devil. Well, at least it's a nice night for it. Raining, the sun is shining, oh, yeah. and the compost compost toilets are nearly full, are they? No, yeah. no, no. It's our camp. John's brought his gazebo. There he is playing with gadgets. He's gadgetating, if that's a word. <laughs> I've had a lot of interest this weekend in our stove, our wood burning stove. Oh yeah. This is a frontier stove. And. This part here is a stainless steel kettle. And you've seen it before in our videos. We put a, a pizza oven on this part here and cook our pizzas on it. But it's been quite cold on a night, so we've had that. And we've had this gadget fire pit that everybody seems to be buying since he's done his review on them. Yeah. We've certainly got through the uh, offcuts of John's old decking. It's been quite a good event. Yeah. You enjoyed it? Oh yeah, absolutely. You enjoyed it, Cooper? <laughs> and the van's standing up well. We've had lots of people coming around having a look around the van. But it definitely has been the invisible Dave this weekend. Uh -huh. They're only interested in Louis. Or the van. Hello, Louis. Or the van. Yeah, I'm just a facilitator. Which I quite like, actually. On here we've got uh, our new quilt that Kaz made for us. And the pillar. So we've had some great camper van sleeps. Haven't we Lou? Louis just been on the field with Joe running. Well, Louis's been running, not Joe. <laughs> well thankfully the weather's a lot better today. What's she called? Uh, Juno. Juno! <laughs> Louie. I don't know. It's like a nightclub in the 1980s. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! What, 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 what? what, what? <laughs> Greg's pulling a big crowd, talking about his insulation. Louis fans a friend. No, is Louis making the most of the dog running field at Camp Quirky. <laughs> it's his first run for a couple of days because we didn't know this field was here. <laughs> Come on, Lou! So give yourself a plug. Uh, well, Boris underscore van life. And 
Sharon. Yeah, I'm Mark and this is Sharon. Cheer, you're on. You're on. Billy and Louie. Yeah, Louie. I'm just the one on the other end of the lead. The invisible man on the other end of the lead. Okay, this is bad. Yeah, that's really bad. The invisible man on the other end of the lead. Look at this van. I like them seats. So much more room, isn't they? Yeah, the long wheelbarrow. <laughs> and how long have you been doing it? Uh, I started probably September, a couple of months off. Yeah. Uh, over the winter. A few back injuries and knee injuries <laughs> along the way. But you, you know all about injuries. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so there's a lot of women. I mean, Probably 50% of the work, you don't see it, do you? No, no. It's all the preparation. And then once you get all that preparation done, it seems to go on really quick then, doesn't it? Yeah, it has this, well, it helps with the lighter nights as well, the warmer yeah. nights. Uh, I mean, it's up in 10 o'clock at night, trying to get it to a state where it's ready to come here. Obviously, we've still got the bench seat to sort out and a few other things in the back, but... Yeah, and then the back doors. It's uh, a brilliant fit out, absolutely Thank brilliant. You. Yeah, you don't want to refit man um, out, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've learned a lot from uh, Greg Virgo. Oh yes, so, good old Greg. Yeah, so he's, he's yet to see. I'm, he said he's going to come and have a look at it. So. He's just doing a presentation about insulation at the exactly, moment. Yeah, I'm sick of insulation. I don't want to hear <laughs> insulation ever again. <laughs> but yeah, we've played with it. We need to concentrate on the outside when it's already inside. and kind of, kind of, I like the fact that it looks a bit rough on the outside, though when people see it inside, it's, yeah. it's quite a surprise. It's a lovely fit out there. Thank you. So how long do you think in total you've spent on it so far? Uh, it'll be a good four or five months. Right. But that's just like working on a night after work and yeah. the weekends. You've done well then. Yeah, it's probably longer than that, to be fair. And is it in the drive or in a garage? It's in the drive. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, does it? <laughs> no, I mean, I, I work in a, like a holiday park, and uh, we've got a big workshop there, so... Oh, you it, can get it in. Get in. Well, not... It, the workshop has in the bench... So oh, all the tools like and that. everything. Yeah, so that's helped me as well. But it's still easier to do it outside. If you're yeah. In place, but yeah. I like the gas takeoff for the barbecue. Yeah. It's a nice feature. Yeah, we've got a hot air blow as well under the uh, sink area. I see what you mean about the back doors. Fuck God. Yeah. Somebody's had a right good go at that, haven't they? Yeah, I mean, it's, it was like when I bought it, it was, there's money knocked off because of that. But are you going to change the back doors or are you going to try to get them knocked out? You're going to change them. I mean, you're looking at five, six hundred quid for a pair of doors that are brilliant, you know? Yeah. Especially the crafter. There's sprinter vans everywhere. So. Oh, yeah. There is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but I mean, yeah, they're like 400 quid, then you've got to get them re sprayed so they can be white, you know. So I'm uh, just going to hold out, I think. I love the seats, the seats are excellent. They're just covers. Is that all they are? Yeah, I've got them uh, put them in yesterday when we, we arrived. We, yeah. You know, when we, they batch you all up. Yeah. We were putting the seat covers <laughs> They look great, though, don't they? Yeah, they're 300 quid. Wow. But, I mean, to get them reupholstered. Oh, yeah, that's silly money. Yeah, so, I mean, it is good. they do feel nice as well, you know. They look very good, it f and it fits real nice with the colour yeah. of the rest of the van. Yeah. But you can design this yourself. When you go on the website, you can have any colour of that. You can have any colour of the, the seat in between. Also, if it, this is called off-white, and you don't get an option on the stitching. Right. If you've got, like, a blue or a brown or a grey, yeah. you can put a red stitch in, a blue stitch... So yeah. you can design you can design them yourself. very good are they yeah you just, you just go online you, know, you go into the design app online it's going to be called cover kingdom cover kingdom yeah they're in the leicester i'll find it and put the link below i think i got it through uh, van pimps or van x i can't remember i think van pimps in oh i see they're actually zipped on i've just noticed that don't yeah because i mean you've actually you get your, where is it, this side? They're not as easy as they make it look like. <laughs> they never are, are they? <laughs> but that's the beauty, because they're that tight to get on, it's a, yeah. they're not too baggy, you know? But obviously, you lift that up and then that's your... Oh, I see, you can yeah. See that. Of course, it's the other way around, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's not on right. It only means it's not that, hasn't it? No, not done that, yeah. yeah. We got bored with that bit. It was better than uh, the, the old yeah. grey, you know? So. And they actually sent me... Um, Cover for my 
armrests, no. <laughs> which I don't have. <laughs> so. Not yet. Not yet, no. <laughs> Here's Louie checking out Martin's van from Houseless Not Homeless. What do you reckon, Louie? Does it come up to your standards? Whatever you do, don't cock your leg. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Lou. I do like them canopies. Incredible. Martin's beyond the van again. I see people have been redesigning it for him. It's a great place to keep your kayak. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, even even as a apprentice, you're not paying me. I mean, there's no way in the world you're paying me. Oh, and you've got proper battle scars as well, so you do actually take pictures of points. Well, that's fantastic. Everything's done so we can work on it. Maybe's mountain burger. Look at that. What do you have to say for yourself? Proud. To shine. And the gadget? A smaller version of Maybe's actually. Oh no, there's some green stuff mm. over there. Wow. Yeah, macaroni and cheese. Woo. Salad. And Joe's just gone for chips. Joe's chips has chosen chips. <laughs> and tea. And tea. No oh, way. Oh, no way. No way. No big meat. And I've had to go for the healthy option because we've had a bit of an excess over the last couple of months. <laughs> yeah. And I'm trying to slim down for the old cycle ride. <laughs> and fish and chips. Yep. Very good. For Lou, for Flora, well, I've got fish and fish chips. And chips. Oh, you need to do the official oh, no, chip no, test chip for us. Test. No, pressure. Us no pressure. No pressure. Oh, These oh. are at least two, two fries. I reckon they're three and they tri triple cooked them. Oh. Mm. oh yeah. Probably. Now we need to inform everybody that you used to run a chip shop so you are an expert at chips. Yeah. Don't need to face an eight. Yeah. An eight? That's good. That's a good score. Mm. Eight. Yeah. What do you think? <laughs> I'm going to be controversial. Ooh. Ooh, five. Ooh, Ooh. wow. Yeah. Meve? Well, I, ha I have a choice of two chips. I have nice. the posh chips, yeah, then, which then, is parmesan then, and then, truffle then, oil, then, and then just a the normal trip to Kibble Cook. Yes. That's, that's cooking them too, too, too many Seven. times. Seven. Yeah, that's right. Oh, and then they said Jesus. Thank you so much. Eight. eight. Okay, I think we go for eight. We're just on our way home now from Camp Quakey. We've just had lunch with um, Greg Vega, Lou, Greg's mum, Flora, uh, the Gadgets and Mivy. And uh, we're just heading our way home. It's a great weekend. The weather started off a little damp, chilly. But apart from that, uh, it brightened up and it's been lovely sunshine. Met some lovely, lovely people. Everybody there was really, really nice. Lots of other YouTubers, lots of viewers coming up to say hello to Louie. Not me, just Louie. <laughs> and I um, had the opportunity to look around some amazing vans. So yeah, really enjoyed it. I think the only thing I would question a bit is the composting toilets. And I'm sure everybody who's done a video of Camp Quakey will have something to say about them. But apart from that, brilliant event. Really enjoyed it. It's just a shame it was on the same weekend that it was the um, Camp Off Grid, which was the Camp of Antilles organised weekend. So we'd love to have been at that one as well. But no doubt we'll catch up everything that went on on that event on their YouTube channels. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you again soon.